What is Kelly Olenek doing here? This shot goes up, all right? Shot's up. You need to immediately get into Brooke Lopez's body, use your butt, and box him out. Uh, you don't do that. Okay, Mike Conley's done a great job of dropping to the nail right here. So if I'm Lowry Markinen, I am up. I am not giving Bobby Portis an open jumper. I am up, and I'm making sure he has to come this way because Mike Conley now can stunt, doesn't have to move his feet, just get the dribble picked up, and easily recover back out. Okay, so I want to bring him into the teeth of my defense here. But, pfft, uh, never mind. Not everybody can just stand around waiting to see if an offensive rebound happens. One of these two Jazz players has got to go on the shot, okay? Because if the Jazz get the offensive rebound, you can always come back into the play. But when everybody's just standing around for an offensive rebound, this is going to happen. You have guys leak out in transition like this. This Jazz player is guarding this Bucks player right here, Bobby Portis. He's going to come over and double, and it's a great double because he gets a block, okay? But right now, okay, the block happened. Stop. you got to get back to your man. Like, where are you going? You're going nowhere. How easy do you want to make this for George Hill? I mean, seriously, here's a ball screen right here. Let's get up and get George Hill out of the lane. There's no place for Bobby Portis to roll. The backside's help here, and this Jazz player can occupy these Bucks players two passes away. But again, how easy do you want to make this for George Hill? Okay, this just can't happen. Walker Kessler cannot be standing inside the paint when George Hill has the ball and his man Bobby Portis, a good shooter, is one pass away. I mean, no. This is very elementary. The shot goes up. Stop. If you are Rudy Gay, do, th this player's boxing his man out. Don't go towards the basket. Find your man and box him out. When you don't box out, these long rebounds now are very likely going to Milwaukee. Oh, man, we got a down screen right here. This Jazz player has got to get attached to his man and get his arms out so this player can't curl. He has to go out, and this player can actually get over this screen. When you let him curl like this, now he's right into the lane, and it's an easy two. Why do I want to give Drew Holiday the lane here? Please, up, get him out of the lane. Kelly Olynyk can get up here and backside help on Brooke Lopez's roll because we're pushing Drew Holiday out here. If he throws a skip pass here, it's quite an easy recovery on the airtime of that pass. But you're in the business of giving Drew Holiday the lane for no reason? Okay, if you are Kelly Olynyk, you don't get back to the middle of nowhere in transition. You find a body, which right now is the ball, Drew Holiday. Where's Kelly Olynyk going? That certainly looks like the middle of nowhere to me. Okay, Jordan Clarkson is guarding Drew Holiday. There is not a scintilla of anything, of any reason, why Jordan Clarkson should no longer be guarding Drew Holiday. What? Hey, if you are Jordan Clarkson here, you don't just get to a random spot on the floor and transition like he's going to. You get to a body right here. Look at Jordan Clarkson. He is going to the middle of nowhere. You're not guarding anyone. So now Grayson Allen's just going to get this and go right into the lane for two. Hey, this is a straight ISO for Drew Holiday. If you are sending help, it can't be at the rim like the Jazz do. It's got to be right here. Now, look how easy this is because this player is going to rotate here on a kickout pass here. Kelly Olynyk then rotates here. This player rotates here. And the man that went to double just falls onto this last Bucks option right here. But you're going to send a double team at the rim. It's way too late. Okay, Bobby Portis is setting a ball screen. What are you doing about it? Are you switching? Are you hedging? What? The answer is of doing nothing doesn't work. In transition, you don't get back to the middle of nowhere. You find a body to guard. Kelly Olynyk is standing in the middle of nowhere and now is late to guard Brooke Lopez. Okay, if you are doubling the post, that is totally fine, but you cannot expect to then get out to the three-point line to your back to your man, okay? This player's got to rotate here. Then this player guarding in the corner rotates up, and then the man that doubles just bumps this player to the corner right here, okay? But you're going to try and get back out to your man. That never, ever will work. 
All right, so Kelly will want to get switched onto Drew Holiday off of a ball screen, okay? So leaving him on an island with Drew Holiday is certainly not an option. We want to bring a double team, okay? We're not trapping, okay? We're just bringing a double team, and we're forcing Drew Holiday into this second defender. Then on a drive and kick, this player's here. This player's up the line and is here. And the man that doubles pushes this player into the corner. But leaving Drew Holiday and Kelly Olenek on an island going one-on-one -on -one doesn't work. First of all, if you're running drop coverage, the guard has to go over the screen. He does. He cannot go under the screen, but that's actually neither here nor there on this situation. This is a pick and pop here. Stop. So this player is, of course, never going to be able to recover back to his man. So this player is going to kind of get up the line a little because on this pass out, you got to rotate here, and this player's got to rotate to the corner. Um, that doesn't happen. Okay, Brooke Lopez on Rudy Gay in the post is a total mismatch. There has to be a double coming, okay? And again, kick-out pass gets made here. This player rotates here. This player here. This player here. Man, the doubles falls on to this last Bucks option right here. But you're going to let Brooke Lopez just bulldoze Rudy Gay? Uh, okay, if, you, if you're this Jazz player here, your, you sh your move should not be to go to the basket. It should be to get a body in front of this Bucks player, box him out, and get him out of the paint. Now you're the only one that can get this rebound. But when you don't box out, this be turns into a 50-50 ball. And you can see which 50-50 way it went. Okay, if you are Rudy Gay right here, as soon as this Bucks player picks up his dribble, get the heck out of here and out to the perimeter. Look at what happens. Okay, this Bucks player just picked up his dribble. There is nothing for you to be stunting at here. Just get out. But Rudy Gay is going towards the ball. So... Of course he gives up an open three. Okay, you have to guard this down screen. Nothing else matters if you don't defend this down screen. This player's got to get attached, arms out, so this player cannot curl and this player can get over the screen. You don't guard this down screen. So look at the separation. Nothing else matters. Now that you have no chance of guarding this dribble handoff, and it's a two-on-one. Okay, pick and pop. First of all, I want to hedge. I want to get this ball handler as far away as possible. But number two, I have to have backside help. There, It is a non-negotiable. You have to have backside help, okay? And then this player occupies these Bucks players two passes away. And depend, no matter, wherever the pass goes, then the man that hedges, Kelly Olenek in this case, goes here. This player bumps here. And then this player comes on to this last Bucks player in the corner here. But if you have no backside help on a pick and pop, I mean, there this is a totally pointless double team. This player, look at this player, is guarding just fine one on one. This big is standing in no man's land. Please get out to your man. What? Disaster. Okay, so you start and drop coverage, but then you switch. Donovan Mitchell switches over here. So Donovan Mitchell's got to call out that he's switching so Walker Kessler knows he's got to stay with Grayson Allen. But Walker Kessler clearly doesn't know that because he just is standing in the middle here while Grayson Allen's out here. Jazz are in a 2-3 zone. You've got to communicate in the zone. So this player is taking the middle of the zone right here. you got to say that. So Jordan Clarkson can get up to the wing and this player can go to the corner. Right now, we have somebody guarding nobody. When somebody's guarding nobody in a zone, you leave somebody. Okay, this is not hard. The Jazz are still in a 2-3 zone. This is just a simple switch. This player takes this player. This player goes here. I mean, nothing changes about the zone. How do the Jazz screw this up?